Welcome back everybody, my name is Nick930 and today we're going to be taking a technical look at Watch Dogs 2 on PC. We're going to be testing the frame rates with vertical sync on and off to try to see how we can maintain a nice steady 60 FPS playable game experience. So this game, a lot of people so far are saying it's optimized very well. Uh, for the most part, yes, it is optimized pretty well for most machines, but if you're trying to get the high end uh, quality out of this game, you're trying to get the highest possible settings, you're going to have some issues, even with a high-end computer. Uh, so I have a GTX 980 Ti with a i7-6700K and 60GB of RAM, and as you can see, I have every setting maxed all the way out, except for the shadows. I decided to just keep it on Ultra. They have NVIDIA's PCSS, which never seems to work, so I'm just going to avoid that. Uh, and as you can see, I have um, anti-aliasing SMAA, I was trying to use MSAA four times and I was not getting any good performance out of it. I was getting maybe down to like 30 to 40 FPS. So here's everything maxed out right now. I'm going to show a nice pan around the San Francisco Bay Area. And as you can see, as the camera starts to pan towards actual detail from the buildings and trees, the frame rate starts to dip significantly down to the 50s. Uh, I'm going to show you what this looks like with vertical sync off in just a second, just so you can get an idea how the frame rate is actually fluctuating. So right now, with the city in the distance, it drops down from uh, down to 65, and then goes up as you target the Golden Gate Bridge up to 80, and then you slowly start to see it drop all the way down. It's going to go down to I believe the low 50s. Now it's going to stay right there at 55. Up oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is mostly due to the extra detail setting. I'm going to show you what that's like when you disable the extra detail setting in a little bit. Uh, for now, let me show you some of the driving gameplay in the same area. Uh, this is vertical sync enabled again, and as you can see, it's going to be a lot more difficult to run this game as you're driving around. There's going to be a lot of details flashing past you at uh, great speeds. You can see it go down to 30 at one point. Uh, as you have a view of the Bay Area again, the frame is going to go back up because there's not as much detail. Uh, so most of this is definitely coming from textures and foliage. I'm seeing a lot of drops whenever there's a lot of foliage on the screen. It's got to be that. It could also be shadows. Uh, I tested the shadows. I lowered them a bit. I wasn't getting much better frame rates, but I assume a combination of lowering that and some other settings will give you some steady frames. So here's VSync off, and again, the frame rates took a nosedive uh, to an unplayable uh, drop, honestly. Uh, down to 30 to 40 FPS is not very good. Um, but for the most part, it's maintaining 60 FPS around these corners, so it's not terrible. It's just a, a few key areas. Now, I read online, uh, someone mentioned that this game is not using the full GPU power. Uh, I want to make sure this is true first. I don't want to say whether or not this is true. But if that's the case, that would explain a lot of the frame rate drops here. Uh, someone recommended turning HBAO off, so I tried that out. I wasn't getting much better frame rates though, so this is not a solution, at least not for me. Um, again, I'm not seeing much of a difference here. It seems to be the exact same issues. But here is where I got some major uh, boost to performance. I, just, I lowered that extra detail option from 100% down to 0%. Uh, FPS are much higher, um, I'm not going below 50, so that's okay, I can deal with that. Uh, again, these same turns, I'm maintaining a nice even 60, so overall the game is optimized okay. It looks fantastic, I'm looking forward to playing more, but uh, I really hope Ubisoft does a little bit more in terms of optimization. Thank you all for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.